Yeah, horror mateys. Welcome to Sea of Thieves. This is Damron. We're playing the Vaults of the Ancients update that just came out in Sea of Thieves. Added a new gold hoarder type mission for us to do that is pretty cool with a brand new chest. So let's jump right in with everything that you need to know. So you can pick up this new mission from two different places right now. One from the gold hoarders. Um, you'll see this new quest in his inventory, but you can only pick this up if you are at least level 25. For now, similar to what they did with the ghost ships, you can also pick up a free quest from Lorena who's actually replacing the Duke right now who is lost and he's no longer at the tavern um, he can be found at a different island but for now if you're not level 25 you can pick up a free voyage from her in the Bildrat inventory so feel free to grab that also along with this update we've got four new commendations three of which are found in the gold hoarder section so you have the one for finding the vault keys using the vault keys and then turning in the ancient tribute chest to the gold hoarders um, which ironically they're hiding so we got to go find them and bring them back to them which is kind of funny and then the fourth new commendation is in the reaper's bones section which is to sell those chests to the reaper's bones which makes a little more sense but ultimately when you put this voyage down either from Lirina or the gold hoarder you're going to get a new compass and this compass is going to kind of point in a direction very similar to the rogue tall tale when you're searching uh, for one of the boss type enemies but as you're sailing the seas that compass is going to kind of shake around a little bit and point you in the direction of an island so as you can see I'm going past this island I'm like oh that's the island I need to go to and then when you get to the island um, when it starts twitching you know you're on the right island and what you're eventually looking for is it to start spinning around real crazy in circles and when it does that you're gonna dig on that spot to pick up a parchment paper and that parchment paper is actually going to give you a piece of a X marks the spot map and you have to find multiple pieces to and you know know what island to go to and where the x is and it's random of which apartment's going to give you which piece one thing that i do want to mention is before you leave the island that you're on sometimes pull out your compass and double check so here i go i'm going to dig this parchment it's added to my map but actually the second portion of that map is on the same island so before i even left the island i pull out my compass again and i'm able to get a second portion of that map so that's just something to keep in mind now you don't necessarily have to dig up the entire map what you need to know is what island to go to and where the x is so here is a case where the first parchment map i found i said oh that's crescent isle and it happened to have the x on it so i know where to go and i know where the x is so in those you know situations i don't have to go around and dig all those pieces i can actually find the treasure just from one parchment paper and there's actually an xbox achievement to dig one of these with only digging or with only having one piece of the map but eventually what you're going to be getting from all that are these stone keys or these golden keys okay and we're going to talk about those differences because it makes a difference so right here is a kraken's fall stone key and that's actually from larissa okay and these are going to have lower tier type rewards as opposed to the golden keys which are going to have higher tier rewards and you can only get those from the gold hoarder at higher levels so the different types of key you're going to get are going to determine how valuable the vault is and there's six different places you can go okay this one is for crescent isle this is a crescent isle golden key i'm going to link right here because all the vault locations are similar to the tall tales um all the tall tale vault locations that we've been to in prior tall tales so in a prior video i made i showed all the vault locations and exactly where they are on those islands so i'm going to link that here put it in the description and the comments so check that out if you have a specific vault key and you don't know where it is and you can't find it but looking at the key is going to tell you at least which island to go to right so this one said crescent isle once you open the vault you're going to walk in you're going to have all this treasure you're going to want to grab it all okay but here needs to be your focus while there's a bunch of chests and things to pick up in here, the chest value is really not that valuable. The things that you want to get out of the way are the chests that are on top of that center platform so you can see, um, you know, for better word, I guess the screen below it. And what you're really looking for are these medallions, and they're just going to be randomly placed throughout the vault. And there's three of them that you need to find. And this is timed. As soon as you open the vault, you have about three minutes before the vault is going to close. And you've got about three minutes to find these medallions and solve the puzzle. 
when you put the medallion in, the first one you put in is going to correlate to the leftmost block. So you need to match the image that pops up on that screen with the leftmost block. So you saw I had a chest and I changed the block to a chest. And oftentimes in these higher tier vaults, right, the ones that have a lot of treasure, they're going to have a lot of layers to them where you're going to have to climb up these platforms. And what we like to do is when we start out is go to the top platform because the medallions tend to shine brighter than the rest of the loot. So if you go up here and kind of look around, you can look for that glimmer of the medallion because they're kind of hidden behind pillars or hidden up against things. But once you get all three, you're going to put them in. So now we have a uh, treasure chest, a key and lock, and a key and lock. So the first uh, you know block needs to be a treasure chest the second and third need to be a key and lock but then you wonder about the fourth well the fourth is basically going to be a picture of all three of the first three blocks so the fourth block has to be a treasure chest and two lock and keys which you see here and also to you need to make sure the keys are facing the same direction you see how he had actually put the key in the wrong direction so once we switch it to the right direction you're able to open that vault and get the new uh, ancient tribute chest and the last thing that I want to mention with these vaults is as the door closes and is closing you can have one person stay behind actually and that's when you kind of want to start picking up all these gold piles uh, because even though the door closes you can still actually get the gold pile gold and this is actually the least valuable thing in the vault so the last person can just stay in here and get as much gold as they can and drown while the other person kind of gets all the treasure that you had placed outside of the door um, so I hope you guys found this helpful uh, this is the ancient tribute chest here um, itself you know this is a pretty fun update I've, i hope you guys find the guide helpful if you like my stuff as always feel free to like and subscribe hopefully i'll see you on the seas